Thank you. Um, Christchurch Archery Club, Bill Skews. Hi, Bill. Nice to see you. I've uh, done archery at the Christchurch Archery Club. That doesn't conflict me, though, have I? I did one bullseye. Yep. <laughs> it didn't take long for me to get a bullseye. If, if people haven't if people haven't done archery, I just recommend it. It's a it's a very interesting. It actually takes a bit of a pull on your shoulder more than um, I realised. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Thank you, uh, Mary Ann. Um, Mia Dalzell, Councillors, Executive Staff. My name is Bill Skews. I'm uh, past president of the Archery Club and the spokesman for their submission. Um, <clears throat> the Christchurch Archery Club is a world-affiliated organisation dating from 1948. We were told by council staff that the domain management plan was being reviewed and if we needed to submit anything, we needed to do so before the June 18. This was incorrect. Um, because it was actually the LTP that they were referring to. We received further information from Council on the 5th of April that our submission needed to be in by the 13th of April, so we had very little time to um, convene a committee meeting. Our submission, therefore, has been rather hasty. <coughs> we were concerned that no reference to the development proposal for archery at Rafiti Domain was listed in the changes to projects in the coastal and Burwood Ward segment or document. So the big picture, what the LTP means for archery in the Rawiki domain and the future as we wait to find out about our lease. What do the issues in the LTP mean for us? Water supply? We commend the council initiatives in that regard. Flood risk? In the event of a tsunami, it would likely mean that our facility would be affected but the public and the users would be safe. We accept that problem and we'll deal with it when we have to. Roading. We acknowledge that the City Council is acting in the interests of all users and prioritising critical matters. Cycle routes do not affect us, and while the cost of this work is high, we notice that the Council is utilising government provisions as best they can. Parks. Our occupancy at Rafini Domain is precarious, as we are constantly bombarded with organisations wanting to use our shooting area, citing the fact that they are <coughs> working in the wider interests of the City. Our lease expires in three years, and then what happens? In 2014, we had developed plans for a quality <coughs> indoor shooting facility, a 24-7 shooting facility. The idea was that um, we would be able to uh, start a um, shooting um, facility for the whole of New Zealand, because it would be indoors. Our lease expires in 2001, and we've spoken to the Red Zone Development Wing of the Council, but any work on that area is likely to be 10 years away. Further, it seems that the Council is more concerned about the removal of native trees near us, and there aren't any, than helping us move forward. We have been a good tenant, we were promised action, and are still waiting. The proposed facility was included in the future rough fee domain plan. We were told that we would not need resource consent, and the domain plan was sufficient to enable us to progress and notify the public of our intentions. Now Council is requesting a full financial proposition <coughs> before moving forward and consider our facility. We have raised in excess of a third of the cost already, however we can't get bureaucracy into action. Why is our proposal not flagged in the LTP? Is it because we have not asked for help with funding? Sports facilities. In the larger world of sport, we are a small player and understand the priorities required for a large sport. Why are small sports ignored and marginalised? We still provide a service for ratepayers, and particularly children. Why are we not even mentioned when we originally were seen as an important facility in New Brighton? Why has the land that we use been made available to everyone in Sunday in Sundry? Why does the council leasing policy allow everyone else to utilise that space? without reference to us. Across, uh, case in point, a cross-country bicycle event organisation was told by the council that they could traverse our shooting facility and when they approached us and realised they could not, they were further told by council that they weren't allowed to use the athletics and rugby field grounds but could use our space. 
even though the council knew we had an event on at that time. They were told they could use our car park, again without reference for us. So what do we use? Your LTP funding document states on page 19, we need to make better use of our public spaces. But I suggest the statement should include the following words added to it, but not as a detriment to our existing users. Why were we made aware of the ESCR facility proposal later in the piece? And this is with the um, tennis club. Um, and then today, I was told it's going to be 10 years before that happens at any rate. The dialogue with the council is poor and puts the responsibility on the proposed user to notify us of their intent and to check our use. This does not always occur and remains unchecked. Communication needs to be improved. Council relationship. Only controversial initiated discussion seems to bring us together instead of recognition of what we provide to the city and that we are important to the city. Remember, we are all volunteers. The Christchurch Archery Club operates from a volunteer base who delivers affordable recreation and coaching programs and the community sort of support outcomes specifically for those in the eastern suburbs to encourage involvement in local sport as well as healthy lifestyles. So that's the end of my submission, Madam Mayor. Yep. Thank you. Um, Sarah? Thank you for that. Um, I'm just wondering if you've, uh, we had a, a um, submission earlier today from a group promoting a new shooting and archery um, uh, space um, in Christchurch, um, the shooting club and things like that. Have you had um, a talk to them at all or are you very, just very keen to stay where you are currently? No, we, we were given their submission about five minutes ago so we haven't even read it yet. Right. Uh, we don't know who they are. Okay. Um, one of the things that we have to be aware of is the Christchurch Archery Club is the international club That's right. affiliated yeah, to yeah. the international body. And so anything we do has to take into account World Archery. That's right. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Um, any other questions? Yanni? Uh, I was just wondering if there was quite a lot more detail in what you talked about rather than what's in your writ submission. Are you able to provide that through to the... <laughs> Actually, I was going to wind up with that um, comment because there was a lot more um, information than <laughs> than in your written than in your written submission. So, but I, I think that's explained by the fact that you had a relatively short period of time to prepare your submission. So, if you could um, email that what you've spoken to through to the staff, it would be incredibly helpful for us. Uh, Leanne, I left five copies with the receptionist. Okay, um, but I can I can send it as a, a, a document. No, that's right. They can put it. It would be better if it's sent as a document because we are trying to be paperless, <laughs> and um, that would be great. I'll do that. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Right. Uh,